Well, it's no secret that drag racing can be dangerous. And tonight, we talked to the man who drives one of those race cars and just survived a terrifying crash. Good evening. Thanks so much for being there. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. And I'm Natalie Shepard. A racer is on the mend after that fiery crash at a hometown drag strip on Monday. It happened at the Great Lakes Dragway in Union Grove. Yeah, the driver talked to CBS 58's Emerson Lehman from his hospital bed and says he's already looking forward to getting back behind the wheel. We do want to warn you, his injuries may be tough to look at. David Dothit has been drag racing for 30 years. That's what I do. You know, race cars, uh... Pay my bills. A scary reminder of the dangers of living life in the fast lane happened Monday afternoon at Great Lakes Dragway in Union Grove. We're just working the bugs out of the car and, and all hell broke. Near the end of a practice run, Dothit began to lose control of his machine, eventually tipping on its side and bursting into flames. That's why we have those fire suits. That's why we wear all the safety gear. Dothit escaped the crash with second degree burns and was taken by Flight for Life to a Milwaukee burn center for evaluation. He'll be discharged Tuesday, already eager to get back on the track. Hopefully in the next few days, uh, you know, we'll be able to get back to cleaning up uh, my mess at the racetrack and get back on the road and get back to making money. The Dothit Motorsports team is scheduled to be back here at Great Lakes Dragaway on July 1st. David Hopeful, he'll be back behind the wheel by then. Reporting in Union Grove, Emerson Lehman, CBS 58 News.